on YouTube. So I just got out of the shower and I'm letting my hair dry. And right here, I can feel my hair starting to grow back quite nicely. Anyway, I've been chit-chatting back and forth with one of my fans via email. And the fan I've been chatting with is Mad Dog Kurt. And a while back he sent me that letter, for those of you who don't remember. And basically he wanted me to make a, a video. Now for those of you who don't know, Mad Dog Kurt is one of my longtime fans. And him and me have been chatting back and forth on via email for a little bit these last couple of months. Or the last couple of days days I should say. And Mad Dog Kurt was like, Could you make a video showing which doll you wanted? Because Mad Dog Kurt basically sent me a letter saying he was gonna save up and buy me uh, doll of sorts, and um, I said, well, I would do that, but I don't want YouTube flagging my shit, and just to prove that I'm not completely naked, look, I have jeans on, okay, just so, we, just so we're clear on that, that I'm not, yeah, going shirtless for a male on YouTube is not illegal, and um, Mad Dog Kurt gave me an idea, and his idea was to age restrict the video. Now, my buddy Mad Dog Kurt is 22 years old right now, and so he has an account that he does not leave comments on. He really he merely has an account to like videos of mine and watch my channel. He doesn't leave comments. And he said to me, he said, well, if you make a video and age restrict it, I'll be able to still watch your video. And I said to him, I said, well, I suppose I could do something like that. So keep in mind that this video is not safe for work and not intended for children. This is written this video is intended for a mature audience only. And, you know, I let Mad Dog Kurt that know that, you know, if he wants to buy me one, I'm cool with that, you know. I'm not genuinely in the market for one right now because I have other priorities, obviously. But the fact that I have fans that still want to send me stuff, you know what I'm saying, it's pretty sweet. Um, now, let's just get this done and over with. Um, when Mad Dog Kurt asked me what kind of sex doll I wanted, and to make a video about it, he also suggested age restricting it, so that only that a mature audience could view it, because this particular website contains some sort of nudity. Yeah. But last time I posted a video doing this kind of thing, I deleted that video. Because it got age restricted. So if I age restrict this video of mine before I post it, YouTube shouldn't give me too much shit for it. Um, but the time it would probably take Mad Dog Kurt to save up for this, if by some uh, miracle, you know, he saw me with an actual girlfriend, he probably wouldn't get it from me because he, he'd understand. But, eh, you know, when fans want to send you shit, and they want your two cents, you know. But, uh, you know, the reason why Mad Dog Kurt looks up to me is like he mentioned in 
his letter that he sent me a while back. He mentioned that he had a brother named Zeke, and his brother Zeke also had Asperger's, but he had it, he had Asperger's a lot worse than I did, from, from what I can gather. And in his letter, Mad Dog Kurt talked about how his brother Zeke was bullied horribly in school, and how his brother committed suicide, and how my videos have helped him with the grieving process and everything. And the way he layered the letter, you know, he talks about wanting to send me a new sex doll, and then he talks about, you know, his brother Zeke, you know what I'm saying? And when he started talking about the doll, I kind of chuckled a little bit, because I'm like, yeah, you know, the amount of chaos I caused on the internet. And also at the same time, oh, the irony, I realized that I'm always alone on Valentine's Day, unless I seldom get the chance to have a girlfriend, which, you know, that's just luck of the draw right there, you know. And oh, the irony, I realized that, you know, I could have had something to spend Valentine's Day with, had I not destroyed it, and a bunch of people on Facebook and YouTube were convincing me that, uh, you know, it, just, it was just a, a uh, roller coaster of brainwashing and trolling and all this other shit. And, um, you know, I lost my temper and I let it get to me. And, you know, a couple of days after I did that, I broke my, I broke my other computer completely. That's when I had to start posting videos on my phone. And, uh, you know, at some point I had to learn that breaking my shit isn't going to solve anything. You know, and it'll take some people time to forgive me, but, you know, when I got that letter from Mad Dog Kurtz, I was not expecting that, but then he contacted me a couple of days ago, emailing me back and forth, and uh, he said, well, I'm willing to send you, stay up, stay up and send you one, but, you know, He's like, make a video and talk about it, you know, and kind of thing. But like I said, I told him, I said, yeah, but I don't want YouTube getting on my ass for showing silicone tits, you know what I'm saying? And he said, well, your last one you did got age restricted. He said, he, and then he emailed me. He said, didn't the last one you do got, or get age restricted? And I said, yeah, it kind of did. So he's like, mentioned that this video is not for younger audiences and age restricted and you, and you should be golden. And I says to him, I says, well, yeah, I can give it a try, you know. But, um, <clears throat> if we go to, I'll make sure it's still filming. Is it? Aw, oh, damn it, it froze up on me. Okay, there it goes. Scoosh this shit to the side here. There we go. So I can make sure. There we go. If I pull the website up and then I literally pull the camera up next to it, I can actually see what I'm filming here, which is, yeah. So the only reason I'm making this video is so Mad Dog Kurt get an idea here. And, uh,. Well, this video is going to be age restricted due to the fact it deals with immature content. But the website I'd order it from would be reallovesexdolls.com. And the one I would order is the. Oh, let me get the camera right here. Is the uh, 100. And 48 centimeter, centimeter, 4 foot 10 D cup. Okay. And this is just a sample picture, but you can customize it.
customizing it would be as followed skin color let's go with that one right fucking there I'll click on it there it goes there's the skin color I would choose right there I click on it like that for the head I would choose head 122 which is right there click on it there it goes eye color I would do um, let's see what options they have oh look green eyes there we go click on it click on it click on it click on it it doesn't want to there it goes okay and then they have different wigs you can choose from and wig number eight is a long black haired sort of wig. I definitely choose that one right there. Now for the option right here, I definitely get fixed right there. I click on that. And if you keep scrolling down to the size of here come on for the good cooperate there we go right there it says areola size I would choose the one in the middle which is the four centimeter right there click on it click on it click on it there we go you can choose the color let's go with if I were to choose a color, let's go with a nice pink. And then the color of that, let's go with pink again. Then you got pubic hair options. I'd go with none and none, just like that. Scroll down to the uh, manicure color. I go with the nude French manicure right there click on that toenail polish color it's, it's a, that, that comes painted on and doesn't wash off let's go with that one right there the black toenail polish stand up foot gloves and irregulator and just the shipping box right there and you can even select an outfit Let's see if I were to select an outfit. I go with this green one. This sexy green one right here. Click on it. Just like that. And yeah, just that outfit right there is all I need. I just click on it and click on it. Yeah. So that's cool. It gives you an outfit to choose from. You got four different options here. just like that now the cost of this one is only two thousand seventy four dollars and this website also orders well gives you free shipping and This would make her look like, I guess, this would make a freaking goth princess. This would that this is what that would look. Right there. Yeah. Now, I'm not complaining about the one that was sent to me. I'm kind of wishing I hadn't destroyed it and bought into all the lies that are being spread about. People are saying they're just trolling me, and then on top of that, the doll that was sent to me was falling apart in certain areas. And I lost my temper. And I, you know, I regret that. And, you know, the only thing I can do. And this is another thing, too. YouTube is that um, if you 
can customize everything from the skin color all the way down to the eye color and everything. This is uh, some pretty wild stuff that they can do here with um, with this kind of thing. Yeah. And apparently the one, come on Florida Duke, come on Florida Duke, cooperate, there it goes, come on, yeah, there it goes. Um, but yeah, like I said, this stuff is all going back right here, slowly but surely, that's what's up. It may not look like 